This unit is one of our counterbalanced electric drum lifters. So we have a power drive unit here, so we can maneuver around. It's completely counterbalanced. And then we have this automatic drum grip and head at the front of the unit. We'll do a close up, show you more detail of that later on in the video. This is able to pick up tight head drums and open top drums. So here we have a 200 litre uh, tight head drum. So first thing is we put the key in, we switch the unit on. We use the tiller to steer the unit in. And we want to make sure that when we drive to the drum, this grip in head will be below the drum. So let's manoeuvre in nice and gently. Manoeuvre in till you actually physically touch the drum. And then at the back of it here, we have the lift button. Once the drum's lifted, we can manoeuvre. Place the unit back on the pallet. Press the lower button to lower. Now to release the gripping head, we keep the lower button pressed and just reverse slowly and it'll disconnect from the head. So press lower and then just reverse gently. We come away from the unit. We'll do that again. This time we'll zoom in on the gripping head so you can actually see it connect our lift and lower and release. So we'll just zoom in now. So here we are approaching the drum. Move forward until we touch the drum. Then we press lift. Now what I'm going to do now is lower and keep the lower button pressed and back away with the truck. Okay, we're now looking at the tiller head assembly. At the back of the tiller head is the key, so we actually switch the unit on via a key. Then here we have the lower button and the lift button. And these are the power drive throttles. Both the, uh, the green throttles are joined together. So if we reverse, it'll just move backwards. The main thing with these is to go nice and gently. Don't put large amounts of input. The truck is very controllable. You just need to actually just rest on them to get them to move. This is the auto reversing button. So if I'm reversing and it touches your body, it will actually change it into forward drive and drive away from you. There's a horn here. And also, we can look, if we look down onto the bottom panel, we can see here we have the emergency stop. That powers down the truck. And the next thing we can see is the battery condition meter, which reads how much power is in the batteries. Keep the unit charged up as much as you can. It's no problem to leave the unit on charge.